Hi everyone. Many of you will have seen our previous video about a supposedly new method of solving quadratic equations, equations of the second degree. Well, now it's our turn. We're going to show you another method which we think is equally useful for solving quadratics. Are you ready? Let's discover the maths. First, forget about using any formulas for solving quadratic equations. Our method is based on the algorithm for finding the square root. Some people may not like this approach, but we love it, both the algorithm and the way it can be justified. Let's look at an example of how this method works. We're going to solve the equation x squared minus 2x minus 24 equals 0. And we're going to do this by taking the square root of x squared minus 2x minus 24. Look at the first term, x squared, and think what is multiplied by itself to give x squared? Well, of course it's x. It could also be minus x, but taking the positive result makes the working simpler. We multiply x by x to give x squared, and so we put x above on the right-hand side. Then we take away x squared on the left side, leaving us with minus 2x minus 24. Now let's continue to apply the square root algorithm. We put on the right side twice the above plus, we'll leave a space in parentheses, followed by another space. And in these spaces we have to put the same thing. We're looking for a factor such that multiplying it by 2x gives us minus 2x. Well, clearly it's minus 1, so we put minus 1 in both the spaces. Completing the operation, 2x times minus 1 is minus 2x, and minus 1 times minus 1 plus 1. We put the minus 1 on the top line, and the result with the sign changed, 2x minus 1, on the left side. Subtracting leaves us with minus 25. So we have that x squared minus 2x minus 24 is equal to x minus 1 squared plus the remainder, which is minus 25. Then we substitute this into the equation to give x minus 1 squared minus 25 equals 0, or x minus 1 squared equals 25. Taking the square root of both sides, x minus 1 is plus or minus root 25, which is plus or minus 5. This gives us two options, x minus 1 equals 5, so that x equals 6, or x minus 1 equals minus 5, so that x equals minus 4. And there are the solutions of our equation, x equals 6 and x equals minus 4. A couple of points to note before applying the square root. If the coefficient of x squared is negative, so as not to have a problem with the root of the x squared term, multiply the entire equation by minus 1. For example, for the equation minus an x squared minus 2x plus 3 equals 0, multiply everything by minus 1 to give x squared plus 2x minus 3 equals 0. And now apply the root. Second, to simplify calculations, if the coefficient of x squared isn't a perfect square, multiply through by this coefficient. For example, in the equation 2x squared minus x plus 2 equals 0, 2 isn't a perfect square, so multiply the entire equation by 2 to give 4x squared minus 2x plus 4 equals 0. And now you can solve the equation more easily. Let us know what you think of this method in the comments below. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you again in the next video to discover more maths.